always thought about it as a kid. I, plus, I, there was a guy on my block whose name is Mario, Spitzarelli. I think Mario Bertoli. Bertoli. Mario Bertoli. Bertoli. You got. You got to say it with the with the Bertoli. You gotta say it with the hands. The like, you know, you gotta do the, the the hand wiggle when you when you uh. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. Alfredo. Ah, uh, Luigi, come see Mama Luigi. Surprise. Baba Boopy. Baba Boopy Baba. Baba Baba. Wait, what was that? Uh, <laughs> that was on Family Guy, and he's just like, you don't speak. He, Italian. Peter, you don't speak Italian, and he's just like, no, 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 I got this. Hey, hey, hopping up and down with the hands. Yeah, 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 Hey, get out of here. Oh, on that Family Guy where, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to just go on Family Guy while they're doing this small uh, button check here, but he does, uh, he's like, uh, Stewie's like, hey, yo, we remember that car took you for a spin, huh? You remember that spin? Did your sister say anything about me? Did you see the episode where they went, they lived in Italy? No. Oh, there's a whole episode where just like, it was all no, Italy. No, I got to watch. Yo, because the, great. you know what? I still, and, and don't, don't, don't even crucify me, chat. I haven't seen one episode of Rick and Morty. It's not, it, it's, a, it's a very good show. But it's not like a, you watch it or you're not culturally relevant yet. Okay. I think maybe as it goes on, it'll get to that status. But at right. this moment, it's not like a, you're, you're, oh, man, screw you for not watching it. Right. And uh, real quick, we're going to jump right into Sparky versus uh, I'll put money that this Greg is actually Gonzalez. serious. Oh, no, no. They, they did this last uh, last week on, on um, what was that, uh, Smashing Clash. They did this exact same thing. And I know we got a good uh, 30 seconds. Same stage? Yep. Oh, no, no. They did it on uh, Smashville, and then they did it on another stage. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, Walking Dead coming out this Sunday. Walking yeah, Dead heads out Never there. enjoyed it. It's all uh, to each his own. I, you know, I definitely uh, I definitely had to grow on me because I got to say, pun, I was literally on the same spot as you. I was like, eh. And then I just started watching, and it was a thing that I was watching until Game of Thrones came out. Fair so. enough. Oh, he got oh, Gonzalez. He got TGG. Oh, you got Gonzalez. Everybody, I swear, everybody gets Gonzalez at, mm -hmm. least, at least once. At least once. It's happened to me. It, it's like I, I, it happens to me in general against Ness. I really need to learn this matchup. Like every Ness just bodies me. I'm you bodied me just now. Like I, 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 I wasn't need. Bring it up. I need. Yeah, well, I need help with the matchup, man. Plenty. I, I'll talk to you about yeah. it. I hate to playing the character, but I'll talk to you about it. For but sure. anyway, that's uh, that's uh, for a later date. Um, the thing here is, well, Gonzalez plays a different type of Ness. Highly than, unorthodox. Than uh, Sparky's used to, because Sparky plays Pasta and myself quite often, even though I don't play Ness against him anymore. Mm. Uh, he plays he plays a Ness quite often, but he plays either me, who's a very uh, patient Ness, or Pasa, who's like ball super balls aggro. to the wall aggro. Yeah, down throwing the up headbutt, run up jumping, falling buttons, headbutt. buttons, buttons. Now Gonzalez is what I'd call an or orthodox. You know, he's like a boxer that like ha changes weird stances because he'll just do whatever he feels like at the moment. Mm. Gonzalez plays with like I'm not I'm not, I'm gonna say it's slightly calculated. I'm not, I'm not going to say he's mindless, but <laughs> the, his options, he'll choose the weird options at the weird times that you're not ready for. I, and he'll catch people off guard. Yeah, at TUG, he always, um, he always seems to not even just, I don't want to say observes a wall. But when he's playing, it's like, I don't want to say he's also not looking for what's optimal. I think all of us, as we play, look for the optimal move. But shh, speaking of optimal, that, that back, back air, air though. Queen. It's like he walk into a freaking wall. You ever just get hit and you're not paying attention? And you're just like, all right, I'll see you. Like, <laughs> Boop. Uh, uh. Mm, that jaw hurt. Oh, and you just look at the object like you mad at it. Yeah, like you like, who well, put this here? Put this back air in my way, man. I was trying to get back on stage and like, why did I run into these feet? <laughs> yeah, like little kid with his his little size six fake Jordans on. Those are size. Uh, four. That's a size four. Oh, you're right. <laughs> but going right into uh, Dreamland. Oh, Sparky said, "All right, forget it. caution to the wind. Let's get into this edge guard." In the see. Sparky goes for forward air, and I don't know why, because Sparky should just, like, either thun- Oh, oh wow, he just jabbed through that. That, jab, that jab's quick enough, yeah. Mm, through the fire and through the flames. Yeah, the, <laughs> the thing about that's PK fire, he has to be cautious. He, he should have just body blocked yeah. it. Yeah. That was a body block opportunity that he just refused to do. Ooh. And off stage. There you go. See what you got to do against Ness here is just sometimes take the hit to uh, get for the against that thunder, you know, air dodging in, just getting hit. See, I'm not. I hope Sparky doesn't watch this because I'm giving a lot of hints. But what he should have done is when he saw that the rocket was going to connect and he's at an angle where he could throw PK. I oh mean the PK, the thunder jolt. Mm -hmm. It was going to half his um, recovery length. Mm. So I would throw the thunder jolt, force the PK rocket to meet with it, and then reduce the um, amount of distance because he'd have been dead. Well, let's try to force like right now. Time. PK thunder. Well. 
that thing's stale. How about an eighth time? There we go. That thing is stale. Super stale. As toast left outside for too long. Mm -hmm. And just keep on doing it. But you know what? <laughs> ah. Oh, let's go. The classic Sparky. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> he said, hey, mom. I'm on stream. Yeah, that, that, that's a, uh, who, who's that? Uh, Little Wayne. Hello. Hey, hi, how you doing? Hey, hi. <laughs> hey, hi, how Hello. you doing? Hey, hi, how you doing? But, uh, what you call him? Hey, Sparky Isn't F this, baby comes to take it, huh? On the toilet, loops. Say no wait. Yeah, yeah. So, Hello. You know what I'm wait, about. this is a mature. This is a mature stream. I'm pretty I, sure I, we can squeeze one or two out, but we're gonna keep it simple for the kids out there. Yeah, you never know. I, I, I don't like to curse unless it's necessary. For sure. And uh, TG. Ah, you got. You should have known when you saw that curve. When I see Gonzalez curve every time, I just like yep. bite my fingers like. Yeah, just, mm, mm, when, the, when the PK Thunder is just right. Just right. right though. Ugh. Ugh. And now Gonzalez actually coming back, you know, he's, he's that's a not a very large deficit to make it back from, especially with back throw. He doesn't really need too much red or uh, rage. Air. Yeah, oh, definitely, or falling up air or up air in general. People people sleep on Ness's up air because they they're just so worried and concerned about the the grab. Right. That they don't shield often, and then you just get clocked by the up air, and you're just like, mm hmm. Exactly, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it, you just it's uh, the the crazy thing about that up air is just like he's like, well, you know, um. That up air is like every, mix, that up air is like you have everything you need. It's quick. It's powerful. It uh, it, like, it cancels mm. on the ground. Like what? What more can you want up air? The only thing it doesn't have too much of a disjoint, but its reach is a lot further and than you look. Than I'm you pretty think. sure you got to get some head invincibility in that because I've seen it clash with a lot of things. I don't think it's invincibility. I don't think it's invincibility because I've seen it lose to like disjoints. Oh, okay. Like I've I've lost to like a, f a fair from Marth mm. or like so it's not invincibility per se. Right. But it might be like priority right which is a heavy amount and i mean great gonzalez just throwing it out a lot right now but just coming up short 87 damage on the board for him and uh sparky pretty much just kind of running away here because now he's playing the gonzalez gonzalez is frustrated right he's making a lot of not very safe decisions he's just reaching for a throw i mean he got it there but all those missed attempts got him to 96 right well at this point sparky can pretty much just kind of run the clock and great gonzalez only needs to do one or two things is just uh wait for sparky to get a little impatient with some thunder jolts will happen. Hi, Magnet. <laughs> if Sparky sees it one time, he's like, all right, cool, I'm going to just hang out here. Right. Mm, breakfast. Mm, eat those. And maybe Sparky might want to, uh, like, bait that out, you know, just wait for him to get into that recovery. Throw, you know, thunder, thunder, ah, da 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 English again. I'll just go ahead and flip that switch. Go ahead, bud. The thing, the thing here is people widely accept that Ness destroys Pikachu. Mm. I don't believe that. I think it's even. But the thing is... Say on a tri-platform stage like this, how is Ness and his terrible air mobility going to cover all those platforms? Good point. And in addition to that, I mean, a lot. I have, like you said, I have heard a lot of people say that this is 60-40 in Ness's favor. To be honest, on paper, I really wouldn't be able to make, again, heads or tails of it. Seeing as how Ness has such good aerial priority and Pikachu does kind of struggle to kill. He's a mid-weight. Can't really get comboed too hard. You know what I mean? But it, both characters definitely have something in their favor, and Ness can turn the ties with throws or any high priority aerial. The thing is, Pikachu struggles with killing on stage, but he can, like we've seen earlier, edge guard, edge guard Ness effectively. Mm -hmm. But on ground, Pikachu loses to Ness because Ness has a like a lot of good falling options. <laughs> I'm sorry, pun. I yeah, had to. Was, was I had to get fire. my heart for a second because just coming on stage, that that PK fire was right on time. Mm -hmm. Won't he do it? Look what Jesus did. Because <laughs> he was gonna eat that up smash clean. He was oh my gonna eat God. that iron tail. He prayed to the mother gods. That was he. He played like eight eight different rounds of Earthbound before he got here. He played mother one, two, and three to come out with that. See now, now the problem is now Pikachu gets the free cancels. And now, what is Ness going to do? He can't keep up with this. Yeah, and with... Uh, Sparky's going to time him out. Like, oh, absolutely. Unless, unless, unless Gonzalez does a good, a great like, forward smash read or, like, or a, just a good puts combo. a hitbox out of there. Right. Sparky don't care. No. Sparky will take this. A win condition is a win condition, my friends. And no. also, you're going to get very, very, very... Oh, he could have just ate that. Yeah, it'll heal the good amount. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, if he's timed that better. Could have got what he looked for. Oh, but now, see, he got hit once. He was like, "I'm cool." Yep. Sparky flirting with death right now. That's Man. good. He didn't bring out the he didn't bring out the thunder because he knew. He's like, the last thing I need him is to heal. Uh, Ten well, seconds is over, baby. If I was Gonzalez, I'd walk off stage. Kill him, Sparky. I just wanted to get a kill. Oh, he was out. Yeah, I was about to say. 
That I was, was about to say, like, what if he would have got that and he just... Sparky is just... Yeah, that might have that killed. At 150 rates, that would have killed. Yeah. 30? Clean. Not, 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 I'm not even doubting that. Yeah. But the thing is, Top he was zone. just like a centimeter off. Yeah. But I think he was just blocking that, just, you know... That's a, that's a frustration tactic. Because even if... Because he would he would have been okay with the shield pop because of the invincibility when you get your oh, yeah, uh, shield broken. That would have took the time. Yeah, absolutely. I just think it would have, like, poked, though. Yeah. Yeah, hard, hard body. But, um, oh, wow, Sparky going right into it. You know, quick attack cancel into back air. And now he's already put 11 damage on the board. And TGG had a 3% a 4% deficit, excuse me. Uh, you mean uh, Pikachu, uh, Pika, uh, Sparky's up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Sparky had a 4% deficit, excuse me. But uh, if I were... Sparky's one of the few people who was not scared to take Ness to Smashville. Uh, Even though yeah. it was widely accepted as Ness's best stage. Yeah, I immediately ban it. Mainly because I already know what time it is when it comes to... Uh, Ooh, good grab by Sparky, just immediately running in. <gasps> Whoa, the four air can't scoop on. What's up? That was so smart on him. That was a great. That was a great play. No, no, he didn't. He didn't um, pummel because then it would have been an air release. Oh wow! So, so yeah. Sparky had the awareness to just let it be a regular release. Right. And then from there he went to get the down air. Now he messed up the edge guard. He didn't get his timing right. But the fact that the idea was there was wonderful. Right. He definitely had the wherewithal to just kind of be, had the presence of mind to just be there and just like, okay, don't pummel him. I really want this. So he has a, he definitely has a game plan in mind. I don't want to say it's a flow chart per se, but um, Sparky pretty much just navigating the stage with ease right here against Nessa with a lot more comfort than he had at last week's Smash and Clash. So uh, definitely making the adjustments. Mm -hmm. See, now the thing here is, Sparky has to just be understanding that, you know what, you don't want to enter the no-no zone, which is oh, the, grab, <laughs> the grab zone. And at this point, yeah. And TGG said, I eat those. Comes up with the side magnet, actually taking a little bit of damage off, saying, okay, we want to do this war of attrition. What's up? I'm, this, I'm ready. This is one of the few reasons why I think this matchup, when people say 6-4, I can see it, is because Pikachu can't play his lame camping game. Like, right. Like, an aggressive Pikachu doesn't care. Nah. But a Pikachu like Sparky, per se, who, like, per, who, like enjoys the laming out people. The joys, the timeouts, and the playing safe. Right. You, he can't just throw out Thunder Jolts as he sees fit because then the Great Gonzalez is just going to eat it. And then that's like a clean, like almost 10%, not oh, 8%. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure off of that, yeah, there yeah, it goes, yeah. Almost 10%. Oh, wow, down smash. And that was definitely should have got hard punish, but um, came up short. Great Gonzalez just whiffing it. I guess that just might be frustration mounting in the course of this matchup. I think he just didn't get the dash input for the dash grab. Right. I think he just And grabbed. that Dead. might Dead. be it. Whoa, no. Good DI. Even though Pikachu is super light, Sparky I think just coming back on stage after being tossed literally halfway across the map. Not, I think not enough rage on Ness's part. No. Nah. I mean, Pikachu's at a good percent for back throws to kill hard. But it was just like where the location. Oh. Ooh. And he just immediately finds that up air clipping Sparky as that hitbox was extended from quick attack. Sparky coming right off the angel platform with a forward throw and just throws right to work on uh, Great see, Gonzalez. See now, see, now is the problem. Now Sparky has to go in. Sparky can't play his lane game because he's down a stock. And uh, the Great Gonzalez is not that close to death. Right. But you can see that the Great Gonzalez is actually getting a little impatient, what seems like, because he's approaching. He has no reason to. Well, he, Ness doesn't have too many good. Uh, Mm. Lame out options. Ooh. Oh, that's Could it. we that's have it. seen that's a it. footstool? Oh, no. It doesn't matter. He was dead. Oh, he, oh and Pikachu Sparky. can't teabag. Pikachu just lays down. Mm, mm. He's a good He's a good animal. He's let's a good go. rodent. Down, boy. Sit, boy. And let's go. Forward air string? No. Doesn't come up with it. Sparky I don't know exactly where, where uh, Pikachu's her, uh, hitbox for that jab attack is. <laughs> his hurt box? Yeah, it's no, probably his hitbox, at the back. Hitbox. Oh, oh, yeah. I just want to know because that, cause that hit, like, Gonzalez shielded. He was behind him. Right. I was like, it's not a falcon. See, yeah. but I respect that. Even if you're losing, please still play the weight game because he's going to get bored. Oh, absolutely. This is a game still, guys. It's competition, but it's still a game. No one wants to do nothing in a game. <laughs> yeah, I, I I cannot help, but I have to move. You know, it's it's kind of the thing that you're supposed to do when you play the game. We were actually having a conversation about this, and uh, Sparky was just saying, like, look, man, this is it's not only a win condition, but it, it's a legitimate strategy. If you mm -hmm. really want to win, this is for money. This isn't for... You know, what for you fun. think the, yeah, what the game should be played. But um, I do notice that on stage, you know, when he's on those platforms and he's maintaining a shield, Sparky is also, you know, slightly angling it. I want to see him actually kind of go through the platform and surprise Greg Gonzalez with maybe a falling fair or... That's what he's probably aiming for. But he's wasting too much time because he's he's not that far off the lead. No, he's still definitely like, not. 
It's still like, not, this is not the time or place to be doing this. Right, but Pikachu could turn up and basically burst and immediately oh, put see, on a good he, amount of damage He clicked him with a Thunder Jaw and he tried to go in. Yep. So now he's going to resort back to his plan. Yep, back on the... And we're back to the platform, guys. And now uh, Greg Gonzalez kind of... Oh, he tried to get the in. forward throw, Jank. Oh, oh. And he got the lead. Wow. Oh. And just like that, Don't the tables, it. he was sitting at him, but now they got turned. Great Gonzalez eating a fair right into a grab combo, ending with Thunder, and now he's sitting there oh, taking man. a hard forward smash here. Now he's struggling to get back on stage. Sparky going immediately on the offensive, looking for the kill. Great Gonzalez coming up with a fair to save him. That was an amazing string of attacks by um, Sparky. The ability to... Th oh, and he gets Great no! Gonzalez! Let's go! TGG he turns got it Gonzales! around! TGG oh turns it around Lord. with the PK Rocket. Unbelievable. Oh, that must have been the most satisfying uh, victory for him. He was like, mm, you going to time me out? Mm, uh, this Rocket, I got this Rocket. Oh, He's like, that's a Rocket in my God. pocket, good sir. Rocket in my pocket, good night. Oh, wow. That, that hurt because wow. Rocky was playing so well and executing it so well. But Gonzalez was like, you always got to remember about the Gonzalez tech. The mm. the mm. Gonzalez tech. Mm. Who? No, I'm cool. Oh, I I, I yeah sure. I mean, I I'll come back for the finals. I don't want right. to you know hog it. Yeah, I want to stay on. No, I'm gonna chill because um, what you call it? I won't wait for finals to come because I don't have a headache. Oh, so I don't get to commentate often. Yeah. Can I commentate with Gons? I haven't commentated with Gons in like ever. I don't think I've ever commentated with.